Hey guys, it's Kayla. I am one part of JKB Review, and today I'm doing a different kind of video. Um, basically, I do this every season. I have things that I pick out that I think that'll be in trend, um, and then things that I think that won't be in trend, and things that I hope that will be in trend, and things that I hope not will be in trend. Um, this is kind of just simply a short one. Uh, I've had a heck of a week. Um, I've had a sick child, so I haven't been able to do much makeup um, this week, so y'all forgive me if I don't look the best, because it's literally been insane. So if y'all want to see what I think will be in trend and what will not be in trend, keep watching. So, um, I just got back from the mall. I went shopping with a, um, a friend. Um, my 26th birthday is actually next week, so kind of got some little goodies. Now, um, last fall, if I remember correctly, it was all about leggings, and it was all about booties, and it was all about plaid, and gold, and darks, and, um, pretty much what you would expect to see around. The first thing I think is going to be huge this fall is camo. I have seen camouflage everywhere, and not hunter's camo or the digital camo old school army camo i think it's going to be huge this fall i think everyone will have it on i've already seen camouflage purses camouflage pants camouflage button-ups camouflage tank tops i mean i have seen it all for getting ready for fall um i of course picked me up one from forever 21 um forever 21 does have a plus section um if you are aware and they do have um clothes for skinnier girls too um of course this is plus because you know i am a plus size it was um 29.99 and i believe they had the one over here where i live had two left but she said they cannot keep them in stock so i definitely think plus size um i mean i definitely think the camouflage jackets are going to be huge this year um you can pair it with black of course i think a cute little you know low cut black tank or a black v-neck t-shirt or you know black long you know solid long sleeve or like a cool graphic tee you, know, you can definitely pair it with some black jeans or some you know jaggings you know stuff like that or and you can definitely make it look really cute with boots and gold accessories okay and now for my next thing that i think is going to really be in trend um these are already in trend for for smaller girls, but now stores are coming out with plus size ones. Um, bralettes. These basically you can wear them under a sleeveless shirt. Um, this is one from Torrid. If you are a bigger chested girl like me, um, they have them in different sizes. But I mean, this is so cute under you know like a. Um, I mean, if you want to pair this with some high waisted skirt or high-waisted pants if you're comfortable with your you know your arms and you want to show off your arms you could definitely make this work with a lot of things this one came from torrid um i love torrid i'm a torrid girl uh it was 34.90 i got a whole bunch of them but this is the main one that i love i love the hold on excuse me i love the lace in the front i think it is super cute i mean it kind of looks like an old granny bra but when you put it on it definitely looks cute I think, of course, um, solid colors are going to be really in this year. I have seen a lot of, um, like, mustard, yellowy color, which I would never, I could never wear that. But, um, when I was at Forever 21 today, that was huge. All you saw was that, mu that spicy mustard looking brown or that sweet potato, orangey color, you know, a lot of navies you know like off-white I think that it's going to really be in style like the longer solid tanks with like jeans and or not really necessarily tanks but shirts dresses stuff like that solid you know solid solid pieces in that color I happen to pick up this is a cold shoulder top, but I happened to pick up this navy one from the Girly Boutique. Um, if you guys don't know what the Girly Boutique is, I will definitely link their Instagram name and all that below in our description box. Jessica actually does some modeling for them. Um, so if you look follow us on Instagram, you can see some of her pictures. Really pretty. But this is just a cold shoulder top. 
it is navy. I'll definitely definitely be pairing these with some, you know, some jeans and some boots for sure, definitely this fall. Of course, just like last year, I think booties are really going to be in again this year. I don't really think um, they will ever leave, and I hope they don't because I literally have 50 million pairs. But I picked up these tonight at Forever 21. I promise you my feet are not this big. I am an 8. So, they just look bigger on camera. These were... They don't have a price on, but I'm thinking they were $30. But these are going to be so cute with some rolled up jeans or some leggings or anything. Especially with my navy shirt or or my camouflage jacket. I'll probably be wearing these two items a lot this fall, definitely together. Okay, and as far as jewelry, um, I think right now chokers are really, really in. Um, I know that last year, last fall, leather and pearl jewelry was really, really trendy, and it, it still is. I actually have a friend who makes it. Um, if you guys are interested, it's Ashley Nicole Designs. She makes beautiful, beautiful uh, jewelry. I actually have a couple of pieces, and I have put it on my Instagram, so y'all definitely look for that. Um, I definitely think that will still be in trend, but right now, especially for fall, I think the big thing is chokers. Um, chokers are really, really in right now. It, they're really fun. Um, you can, you know, get different kinds. Like I picked these two up, these two up at Hot Topic. Um, this is a daisy choker. This is a rope choker. And then these are just kind of velvety. Um, I, and y'all see me, I wear my tattoo choker a lot. Um, so I definitely love chokers. Um, if y'all have any friends or if you make chokers or if you make any kind of jewelry, please let Jessica and I know. We love jewelry. Um, I basically have been wearing chokers all summer and I will continue wearing them all fall. But I definitely think I will see more of my friends wearing chokers now because it's definitely being more common. Um, you know, I definitely like things that are different. I don't like to wear the same things as everybody else. So, of course, I pick these up so I can be, you know, once more I see more of the tattoo chokers, I will definitely start, you know, wearing different ones. So, this is something that I was actually very surprised. Um, I think this year, this fall, holographic things are coming back in style. Um... Journeys actually has a pair of holographic Converse that I tried on tonight that I will be going back and getting. But I got this little makeup bag at Forever 21. Um, it is holographic. Super cool. This is definitely just a good travel bag. It was only like $7. So I definitely picked it up. Um, but right, holographic highlighters are, are really big right now. Um, you know, holographic eyeshadow. There's tutorials on how to do that. Tutorials on how to make your uh, eyeliner holographic, holographic lips. Everything is holographic right now. So I definitely think that is a makeup trend that is going to be huge. Um, I think I will probably continue to wear my favorite looks that I wore in the summer in the fall. Just kind of maybe, you know, darken them up, smoke them up. Definitely think the smoky eye will be definitely huge this year. Um... Of course, you know, the dark lipsticks, that definitely is huge in the fall. I mean, I literally will rock any any color, any, any season. I don't care. I wear dark in the summer, bright in the fall, bright in the winter, dark in the spring. Basically, I wear what I want. I don't like to be like everybody else. Um, some of my favorite dark lipsticks, if you are interested, are um, Jeffree Star Androgyny. It's a liquid lipstick. Uh, Milani's the Sangria. This one is Mac um, from Mac, and it's called Sin. And this is a new brand I actually found at Walgreens called MUA Makeup Academy, and this is what it looks like. And this is in the shade Mulberry, and then the Morphe Lip Cream in Villain. Those are just some of my favorite dark lipsticks. Um, I will link where you can get any of these lipsticks in my description box below. Of course, I definitely think plaid will still be in style. Um, plaid was huge last year. I think everybody 
was obsessed with plaid. I know I was. Um, Jessica loves plaid. She loves everything that has to do with plaid. I think she would buy a plaid car if she could. But um, I get all my plaids, plus size plaids from Old Navy. To me, they just fit the best. They don't shrink. They're not like super, super hot, but they're still warm enough to, you know, to to wear around in the cooler weather. Um, Forever 21 did not have any plus size plaids. Plus, 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 plus size plaids, but they did have some skinny size plaids. Skinny size plaids. Y'all should definitely go get some plaids. Um, think that should go this year. I don't know. I may get hate for this. I'm, I may get a lot of hate. But fringe scarves. They need to go. They need to go. I think they are... Been, I think they have been kind of played out. Um, you know, I just... I think scarves in general, you know, are kind of kind of old right now. I mean, it's, don't get me wrong. Some of them are cute. Like, you know, some people can wear them. Some people can't. Like me, I can't. I'm literally too short to wear them. So maybe it was just me that did, it didn't look good on. But I definitely think this year you will not see as, as much fringe scarves as you would. Okay, I definitely think you're not going to see as much fringe as you saw last fall. And I hope not. I mean, literally, if you wear one, that's, you know, I'm not thinking bad of you or anything but I will not be buying another fringe scarf I think they are played out I think they are too common um of course that's just me I like things that are different so these gotta go so that was pretty much it today guys this was just a short video on what I think is going to be trendy this fall and what I think is going to go um, any trends that you are wanting to start or you are thinking that are going to be big this year please let me know I don't like to look like everyone else hence the purple hair um, so yeah let me know and I will see you guys on the next video and we will be getting into some good some ugh. We will be getting into some cool fall tutorials and demos and reviews. Again, I hope y'all have a great weekend wherever you are and stay safe.